So as you go through and you're trying to spot fix this, just as example. So again, it's the same dang thing. You go right up here, object eraser, you tap there. It's a enhanced, better version of spot fixer that is actually being in play. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo. And today I wanted to show you guys a quick demonstration of how the object removal works on the Galaxy S21 series. Now, if you guys watch the unpacked event or the live event from Samsung showing this feature off, it really looked perfect. Now, again, this one is just a marketing video that Samsung created to make sure it looked perfect, but I wanted to show you guys a real life example of how it works and how it looks when it's finished. Now, I'll also show you really what they're doing at the end of all of this, and it'll make a lot of sense. So first off, they found an image where somebody was walking in the background. So we're going to use this picture here. Now, what you want to do is on the very top, you're going to tap on the little edit icon. Then you're going to scroll through and you're going to find this little image here, which is object removal. So from here, you're able to really tap anything in this picture if you want it to be removed. And you can see I can select the slide. I can also select kind of like, I guess, the tree line. But we're going to go with this person here. I'm trying to take a picture of the scenery. He walked on in and you're able to get it erased. So from here, it looks to be pretty good. Now, when it comes down to the full scheme of things, if it's a smaller object to be removed and if it's further in the distance, it's gonna look much, much better. Now, when you actually kind of zoom in, you can see that it's just ghosting this person out. It's trying to kind of, you know, fix in uh, a little, you know, fix smudge tool to kind of make it look to be pretty good. So from here, it actually looks to be pretty nice. And some people might not pick it up, especially if there's other things happening or if the real subject who's supposed to be in this per in this picture is standing right here, then it's going to look pretty good. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and some of these little detailed informations and demonstrations on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And again, if you appreciate this, give it a big thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. So now let's just move on back. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with another image and I'm going to show you kind of what they're trying to do. So if we move over to another picture and let's just try one of these ones here. So beforehand, you saw that there was like a road, there was grass, there was also a, a little bit of a pond as well. Now this one's gonna look even just a little bit better because this one's all white. There's nothing that's really uh, different around this little figurine right here. So let's say that we wanted to do the object removal here. Uh, so now you're able to hit erase, but because the light was sitting over there, you do have to get rid of not only the base, the figurine, but you also need to get rid of uh, this little piece of shadow here if it's able to select the, the piece of shadow. So now that it's selected that, you're able to erase it. And so it goes away and it actually looks pretty good. And it's because it's able to fully blend in with, I mean, everything's able to blend in right there and it looks pretty good. But now when you go to something back here, so let's try to get rid of this little tractor in the background. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see that it's really messing it up in the background there too. So let's try again to also get rid of maybe that little shadow there. Uh, but there, if you take a look, especially from what I can see as you know my, my human eyes right here, not just the camera lens, but you can just see it's just a total mesh up right in the background over there. So again, one thing to keep in mind, it does not work fully 100% perfect as they showed off in that little marketing video. Now here's another uh, demonstration of this, and then I'm gonna show you this picture here and, and you can really tell the difference on that last photo. So again, let's go to this edit button right up there to the object removal. So when I use this one right here, you know, I can select multiple things. You don't have to do one at a time. I was just kind of showing you what, what's kind of happening. So let's get rid of this, this Iron Man, the full thing. Uh, it looks pretty good until you get to this line. So what I'm trying to show and kind of talk about is that if there is a line in the image, if there is, uh, you know, grass and then a pond, you're going to see that it's all kind of getting uh, disorientated and kind of kind of messed up and ugly. So again, here too, what you're going to see is when I try to get rid of this little guy here, uh, you're going to notice that there's lines in the background that's all going to get all mashed and mushed up. And, and, you know, most people would be able to see it. Some people might not see it, but I'm just trying to show you uh, it's not perfect. It does a good job. Um, it's just not perfect. So let's move right back 
let's go to a realistic image here. So here's a picture of me and I'm gonna show you really kind of what they are doing. So what they're doing is when you go inside of this edit photo and if there is a face that is actually inside of the image, what you're able to do is you can go inside of this, this person editing and anytime it notices a face, you can actually go through, you can change the smoothness, the tone, uh, jawline, the eyes, uh, but here is what they're really doing, spot fixer. It's a way that you're really able to kind of erase and get rid of some things. So for example, this little scar that I have right next to my eye, boom, gone, done, over, finished. So really what they're doing is it's a way that you can do spot fixer that they called object removal. So you're able to do that without a face being involved. And it's actually pretty nice. So this little spot removal here, let's say that I make this one a little bit bigger and let's say that you know he is not supposed to be in this frame. So as you go through and you're trying to spot fix this, just as example, you just kind of see what it looks like. You can see there, it's all kind of getting waved and um, he is actually kind of getting away and out of the image. And so if I spend a little bit more time, it would actually get you know rid of uh, what might not is supposed to be in this image. So I'm able to get rid of them. So that is basically the manual version of the object eraser. So again, it's the same dang thing. You go right up here, object eraser, you tap there. It's a enhanced, better version of spot fixer that is actually being in play. Now, when you get rid of them though, this is exactly what it would look like if I was to keep on doing that, that spot fixer. It would do this whole wavy, distorted looking thing. Um, and again, you know, my eye, my little scar is sitting right there. So check this out. So I can hit like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go right back in, inside of there, go back to uh, this little spot fixer. Again, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. I'm gonna get rid of this little scar and done and finished. So now you basically did spot fixer in both areas. You get you did the spot fixer because it recognized a face and then also has the object removal. But again, they're really doing the exact same thing. They're blending in, they're brushing in everything that is surrounding it. So it can kind of blend in and do a pretty good job. But with this one here, the object removal, it's just a little bit better enhanced version. Again, automatically done through AI for uh, you know getting rid of an object, but it's basically just the spot fixer, at least in, in my own eyes here. So I'm gonna revert this back into normal, got my scar back, got my little dude back. Uh, and that's really all I really kind of wanted to show is that even though the marketing video looked perfect, it was seamless. And if you take a look back at that where they showed it, there was so many lines in the area that would be all distorted and messed up and warpy. And uh, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like in real life. So when it comes down to something like this, it is gonna actually look really good, especially here. There's not too many lines to really mess up. Uh, so again, if we go with this image here, we go to the object eraser, tap on him, erase. It's gonna look pretty good, especially from afar, unless if you zoom in. So on these situations, it will work a little bit better because the object is smaller. It's able to blend in and mesh in and brush in all of the, you know, the areas around it to kind of make it blend in. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't really want to ramble on anymore. Just want to let you guys know that it's really kind of just a spot fixer that is added in. It's done automatically through AI and it doesn't have to recognize a face to actually have that option there, which is actually pretty cool. But yes, you can take away objects. You can take away people. It's going to work if they're far away. It'll be a little warpy. You can do it up super close. If everything is all the exact same you know, color and, and, and hard or soft surface, it's going to look really good, especially with a, a hard white color area here. This one's going to blend in perfectly when it comes to this one right here, it's going to be warpy in the background. Uh, this one here, it's going to mess up all these lines going to be warpy here. It's going to be warpy as well. Um, and then right there, it did a pretty good job, still a little warpy. And again, spot fixture is, is perfect there for blemishes. Uh, but that is today's video. If you guys appreciated this thing, please give this thing a huge thumbs up, especially for the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have not subscribed, subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.